How are you doing, Michelle? I'm, I'm surprisingly okay. I, I was just saying to Shannon that I think that, uh, well, I know that like uh, this being the day after my sisters put Lori in the ground, their mom in the ground, that the, the studio fire is shocking and confusing, but my heart is with my family and with those guys. And so I, the loss of stuff, I mean, my first thought was, oh no, I, well, I have to stay near Max. I have to stay with my kids somehow. And so I guess I'll, you know, I'll just get a job at the grocery store and I'll rent a room because that's the thing about that studio is that it's near Max and we do things there together. And secondarily, like, oh shit, <laughs> I need to make some money. And that was like my Christmas, pay my bills money that was burned up. And, but then I, so many people, have, first of all, all of the, saying such beautiful things and making it me making me know how supported I am and and then all the donations basically just taking all the fear away because I just immediately went to like well it's over I can't I can't start this again I just barely got it started and as I had just I just went immediately to like okay just just go get a job and be a normal person that does a job and gets a paycheck <laughs> and don't do this like stop stop this is just an expensive hobby i just kind of like threw it away with the fire was my first reaction and then basically everyone just came in and said no you're not oh no you're not and i'm processing that and i want i'm just really thankful for that but for me, myself, I haven't had any big like tantrums or freakouts just because we're all we're all healthy and OK. And we've been we're here together and I'm just surprised. I thought I, I thought I should be more devastated about the studio fire. I, I can't tell if I'm just numb or if I just I just came from something that was all this week has been so much about family and taking care of each other and holding each other tight and on the, the, the realness of death kind of pump the brakes on like oh no i lost some stuff <laughs> anyway I'm, i think i'm yeah i need another night of sleep but and you know just keep cleaning this stuff up but we'll stay busy and then hang out with my sisters and christmas is coming and we're all gonna just take care of each other through this really strange surreal passage of events but we're all coming you know other than being heartbroken over our the loss in the family if that doesn't go away stuff in the studio will come back and we'll rebuild and that part the community the community of people has has they're stronger than my voice in this that they're like no you're gonna keep doing that you're not allowed to i was thinking uh i'd be a really great cake, cake decorator at winco and the in the deli department <laughs> but i'd rather paint the silk and do the we're, we're, we're right there we're just, we were just right there i, I had pre-orders and i was totally booked and i was even thinking ahead like oh okay I'll do with a uh, Valentine thing because like what's sexier than silk and Valentine's Day? Like I'm trying, I was trying, just about to get ahead of the curve where I've been just kind of catching up and I was just like right at that point where I was like going to get starting a little bit ahead. And so now we're going to rebuild and, and I had a lot of dreams but I didn't want to undo what I had to redo and redo what I would have done if I could. And so like basically with the GoFundMe and Venmo and everybody encouraging, it makes me rethink i've been getting a little bit like what the heck am i doing with my life why am i like just grinding my wheels in this studio <laughs> painting silk like what the heck but i mean i'll keep doing it and uh re i get to re i get to build that studio back hopefully um 
and more efficient and better and like have mm -hmm. be able to get the hot water heater and be able to wash the silk and it not be so like feeling like a hobby and more um, get it lined up like we used to have with the tie factory a little just a little bit more what where I know I need to go and so yeah I'm feeling grateful and relieved and less scared and more held and safer well, good <laughs> yeah well, I love you yeah I love you I love you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the good news is the uh, Juki turned on. Uh, I think the steamer turned on, so we're just trying to figure out how to get the smoke out of the machine. It's pretty grim. It's uh, kind of making some progress. And uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes. And then it's just everything. Like all those all those spools of thread. It's just amazing they got there just in time. Like that plastic was looked like it was about to go. Okay. I'll post it, Michelle. Okay. I'm Busily thanking people. <laughs> <laughs>